With steel coil wagons being a hot topic in the model railway news at the moment, I thought it would be cool of me to try and be hip and trendy, and at the same time make some wagon loads for some of my wagons that don't have loads. I mean, how difficult could that be? Well, it wasn't, to be quite honest with you. The most difficult thing about it was making painting them to make them look like sheet steel or coiled steel. We'll start with the steel coils and we'll cut a sheet of 10 thou plasticard into 22 millimeter strips lengthways so they're 22 by 300 and then we're literally going to just roll it up in a coil. You'll have to excuse my fingers my manicurist has been on holiday for quite some time. I started off by rolling it as tight as it'd go, let it go, and then wrapped it round my uh, craft knife. It doesn't have to be a craft knife, it can be anything, a screwdriver or a pencil. As long as it's about 8 millimetres in diameter, should be about right. Then it was a case of rolling a bit, gluing a bit, rolling a bit, gluing a bit. Any quick drying liquid poly should do the trick. I use EMA plastic weld and once you've done one sheet you can add another strip and then another one. So that's three strips to make one coil and they need to be about 20 millimeters in diameter. Why do I say that? Well that's what the Backman one is. Ah, why don't you just buy the Backman ones then I hear you ask. Well, you know me by now. I won't, I'm not going to buy something that I can make for a fraction of the cost and make it look better with the added satisfaction of building something myself. Now that's the steel coils. What about some steel plate for my plate wagons? For the larger scales, you'll easily get away with using just a piece of normal steel or aluminium painted or anything of the sort because it won't really affect the running capabilities of the, the wagon but in the smaller scales it will affect the weight which will affect the running capabilities so all i'm going to do is cut a few bits of 30 thou plastic card into about 25 millimeters by 100 millimeters or anything that fits well within the parameters of the wagon that you're trying to fill up not forgetting to sand the edges because there will be just a little bit of a burr and more so if your blade's not sharp yeah, I know, shoot me, I don't use a craft knife. That's better. Sharp, to the point. Let's paint something. Now, painting a piece of plastic to make it look like a piece of sheet metal sounds relatively easy. Well, it might be for some of you, but it was really difficult for me. I'm not so much colour blind as colour uncoordinated. After searching around for hints and tips on what I'm trying to do and coming up empty, it was time for some experimentation. I tried black basing, I tried not black basing, airbrushing, paint brushing, and both in acrylics and enamel. For the steel coils, I found that the best result, for me anyway, was to mix MIG 907 dark grey base with MIG 191 steel, three parts to one part and in my view it didn't matter whether I black based it or not. Airbrushing was okay and paint brushing two coats. For the plate steel I found that airbrushing Humbrol 27003 polished steel was the best option and again it didn't matter too much whether it was black based or not. They did however need the enhancement of some weathering powders metal slag and medium rust. Let's load some wagons. Being careful not to annoy Brian by getting the coils with the seam at a, between seven and eight o'clock. He was a loads examiner. He, would, he does me all the time on this sort of stuff. And the plate steel just drops in the plate wagon. I made one bit obviously bigger so it would fit obviously on the trestle wagon. Keep meaning to do the trestle wagon as a separate video because it was an interesting build maybe one day soon ish so i'm quite pleased with my steel coils compared to some of the other ones that are on offer from some of the major manufacturers 
and mine cost considerably less probably about 50p a coil just a short one for today i'm working on some big projects at the moment which is why there's been a shortage of videos normal service will resume soon thanks for watching see you next time